So, you've just installed GZ Doom for the first time, and you're wondering, how can I make the game look like vanilla? Because when you start it up, it looks like this. Yeah, get a good look at that texture filtering. <laughs> you can see it on the start screen. Anyways, I'm gonna start up the game. This won't hurt me play, just to demonstrate. Now, first thing you might notice, yeah, this texture filtering doesn't look that good at all, does it? I'm gonna show off uh, this real quick. First thing you want to do is go to display options in the options menu, texture options, change the texture filter mode to none. And that'll do it for that. You can turn the anisotropic filter off, but I don't think it'll do anything because uh, there's no texture filtering. So there's probably no anisotropic filter. But just in case, we'll, be, we'll play it safe, yeah. Another thing you want to do is go to Hardware Renderer, change the Sector Light Mode to Vanilla, and turn on Banded SW Light Mode. You don't want to change it to Software because it'll look uh, more like the Z-Doom Software Renderer rather than the real Vanilla look. You can also go to Post Processing and change the Toe Map Mode to Palette. This will emulate Doom's limited color palette, like uh, vanilla style, crispy, chocolate, yeah. So now we're done with the post processing, we can go down here all the way to enhanced night vision mode and turn that off. Because in the original vanilla Doom and the uh, chocolate and crispy source ports there's no enhanced night vision mode there's only a basic like full bright kind of thing going on also you want to go to fuzz style and change it to pixel fuzz this will emulate the fuzz effect on the specters like it was in the like software renderer it isn't perfect but for the uh, hardware renderer of uh, GZ doom it'll make it look rather convincing really. Another thing you want to do is change the rendering quality here to quality so you don't get any white space hands. Those weren't in uh, Chocolate or Crispy Doom. Now there's other things in, the, in Chocolate and Crispy Doom that look a bit off but I'm not gonna go there. Anyways, I believe for the most part we are done with this. You can change the sprite clipping to whatever you want. I'm gonna change it to smarter myself. Uh, I can never get it right, but maybe you can. Anyways, that should be it for the hardware renderer part. You can mess with the fog mode if you want, if you think it doesn't look convincing enough. But you can also go to down here and change the classic transparency to vanilla forced and also change the lost soul translucency to 1 which will make the lost souls visible completely no transparency at all because lost souls weren't transparent in uh, chocolate or crispy and that's the look we're going for also you want to turn the decals to 0 there are no decals in chocolate or crispy or vanilla doom so there are no decals here you also want to turn the rocket trails to off. No rocket trails in vanilla or the similar source ports. But let's get a look at how our game looks right now. Yeah, get a good look at that, that radial, like, uh, like that banded light mode there. We're already getting a classic look already. Now, there's a few more things we can do. We can change the HUD. Now you want to change the scaling options. You can change these as you want really, but I'm for to make it look more like a classic Doom or like vanilla, uh, change the status bar, scale it to full screen, scale the full screen HUD to full screen, change the user interface scale to here, or whatever setting you want really. Another thing we can do for the uh, auto map is change it to traditional doom. Now GZ doom has some features where the colors will look uh, where some doors will like reveal themselves more but uh 
that's uh, another story. <laughs> Anyways, you can change the auto map back if you want to have the colors back. And you can like model the, or change this to whatever you want really. But I'm changing it to traditional Doom to keep the like thing to like resemble chocolate and crispy. Speaking of things resembling chocolate and crispy, your game is starting to look like chocolate and crispy, but if you want it to act like chocolate and crispy, you can change the compatibility mode to Doom Strict. This will change your uh, some settings in the like uh, behavior of like things that happen in the Doom engine to resemble more of the like original like vanilla Doom. It isn't perfect. There are some things that GZ Doom changed that aren't in these like compatibility modes, but this is the best way to get the classic Doom experience in GZ Doom. And now that we are done with that, we can go to the video mode. This is the last thing I want to set up here. Change the scale factor to 0.25. Yeah, it'll make the game look nice and chunky. But there's an alternative you can do. You can change the resolution scale to 640 by 400. This will make the game look even chunkier. Yeah. This looks almost like Crispy Doom to a T at this point. And we're still using the OpenGL renderer while Crispy Doom uses the uh, software renderer of Doom. Yeah, just to compare, here's the Doom software renderer. And here's the hardware accelerated. You might notice the sprite setting, uh, they're a bit different, but there's only so much we can do about that. But, one more thing we can do, I'm sure you probably did it first, is set the controls. Yeah, the movement controls are, like, basic, and I'm not going back to, like, arrow movement myself, really. So, that's pretty much how you set it up. You can turn on auto run if you want, or off by pressing the clap, caps lock key. All depends on what you want to do. But yeah, as you can see, the game looks rather vanilla-y. <laughs> rather crispy. Now, there is a mod out there called Vanilla Essence. It will make your game look like this. Or even crispier, or rather chunkier, with a single push of a button. But, I wanted to do this the hard way, just to show you that it is in fact possible to make your game look like this without uh, any mods or anything like that, really. And yeah, like I said, this looks pretty much like Crispy Doom, as you'd expect it to. Now, I've, I've done some comparisons before. I, where I've set up like Crispy Doom to uh, and GZ Doom at the same time, I like alt tab between them and see like hardly any difference. There are some Doom gurus who are probably going to be in the comment section of this video, possibly, to tell me all the differences of this compared to uh, Crispy Doom or Chocolate Doom or Vanilla Doom. I know the resolution isn't as low as Vanilla Doom's, but I'm willing to overlook that. I know if you install Vanilla Essence, you can get the resolution to look as low as Chocolate and Vanilla Dooms, but this is how you get the Crispy Doom look. Anyways, I just wanted to show off how this looks and how to set it up. Like I said, I wanted to set it up the hard way, so people would know how to do it. But yes, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to end the level now. And with that, I'm done with the video. Hopefully this was informative to you, as it was to me. But that should be it for this video. If you encounter any situations, um, you can continue to tweak with the settings if you have any like problems with this. You can change the resolution back to whatever you want. You can change the scale back if you don't like the 640 by 400. 
you can change the scale back to one or whatever. Yeah, this is all mod modular, really. But I like it like this because I'm kind of a crispy doom fanatic now, and uh, it's my go-to thing for vanilla play gameplay whenever I have the option, at least for doom. But that should be it for this video. I hope it was informative, and until next time, toodaloo.